I will go through questions in 1.1 uh, very fast. So the first question, this one is correct because under the radical to be defined, this has to be greater than or equal to zero. So this is the set of all real numbers greater than or equal to minus five. This is correct because if there is a negative under the radical, it will be undefined. Here, except five is wrong. It need to be greater than or equal to minus five. This one is the set of all whole numbers. No, it's all. It's the set of all real numbers because even if you have a fraction, this will work. The set of all real numbers except eight. No, because eight also will have uh, a defined number in the range. The set of all real numbers except minus one. This is correct because minus one will give you zero in the denominator, so this will be undefined. And this one is the set of all real numbers. Wrong. It should be except minus one. Question two, he's giving you a relation of the age between the age and the height. You have values 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So the least value is 13 and the highest value is 19. So select the correct, the following describes the domain. The domain is all the set of all real numbers. No, it's only from 13 till 19. So the set of all integers between 13, this is correct. And the set of 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, this is correct. This is wrong because it is not the set of all positive numbers. You still have from zero to, so you have one, two, three, that is not here. Uh, this is also wrong because it's not the set of all real numbers between 13 and 14, only integers. Because for example, 13.5 uh, is a real number, but it is not in this set. This also is wrong because 12 and 20 are not in your set. Question three, what is the value of minus five in this function? You'll just put minus five in, if, instead of the X. So minus five the square is five, uh, is 25. So I have minus five times 25, minus four X times minus five, it will be plus 20 plus nine. So you have, 5 times 25 is 125 minus plus 29, so your answer will be minus 96. This graph of a relation and a dot is asking you what is the value of k in this equation where k is equal to x can be used to show that the relation is not a function. This relation is not a function when you draw the vertical test and you cut the function in two points so here if you draw a line here you will cut it in two points so this is where it is not a function when the x is minus 2 so the value of x equal to minus 2 it will not be a function because when you draw the vertical test the vertical line it will cut into two points you have a function h of x what is the value of h of 2? You'll just put 2 here. So you have 2 square is 4 times 2 plus 2 is 4. So 4 times 4 is 60. True or false, you have 1 and 3, 2 and 2, 3 and 1. Is an example of a relation that pairs the elements from the set A. So the set A is 1 and 2 to the elements B, 1, 2, 3. Enter t if true or f is false. Is this is a function or not? Taman, this is not a function because you have only three domains and you have three uh, you have only two numbers in the domain and you have three numbers in the range so that means for one value of x you will have two values of y so it will not it will not pass the vertical test so it is not a function you have a relation 10 and 12 12 and 3 14 14 15 7 7 this is the relation. What is the smallest element in the domain of R? The smallest element I have in the domain. I have here 10, 12, 14, 15, 17, 20, and 40. The least number is 10 in the domain. Here another function, uh, another relation. What must be the value, the value of E for R to be a function? So this R, he wants the value of E this one for this to be a function type i have here 12 and 23 and i have here 12 and a this a must be 23 for this to be a function because if it is any number other than 23 i will have one number in x that has two values in y so it will fail the vertical test so a must be 23 
and B must be 16. But here he's asking about A, so A is 23. This function B, where T is the domain range minus 10, minus 5, 10, and 20. What is the largest number of the range? Now, on here, the biggest number you put from the domain, the value of the range will be less. So to have the highest number of the range, you need to put the least number in the domain. So I will use minus 10 because it is the smallest number. Minus 10 times minus 2 is positive 20 plus 10 is 30. So 30 is the highest number. If you're not sure, you use all of them. So here you will have 30. He will, you will have minus 5 times minus 2 is 10, 10 and 10 is 20. Here you will have 0. And here you will have uh, minus 40 plus 10, you will have 30. Sorry, two, 20, minus 40 plus 10, you will have minus 30. So your greatest value of the range is when you put the least number, which is 30. You have a function here. He wants the domain of h. Taban, the domain of h is all the real numbers that makes this greater than or equal to 0. So 84 minus 4x must be greater than or equal to 0. So 4x will go to the other side. 84 greater than or equal to 4x. Divide by 4. So this will be 21. So x must be less than or or equal to 21 x less than or equal to 21 for this to be positive for the radical to be defined you have the domain 0 and 1 and 2 and you have y this is the function and he wants to graph the relation on the coordinate plane simply you will take the 0 and put it here you will get the value of the y so this will be 0 plus 3, so 0, so 0 and 3, 1 and 1. This will be minus 4 plus 3, so minus 1. When you use 2, 2 times minus, minus 4 is minus 8, minus 8 plus 3 is minus 5. So 2 and minus 5. You just take this point and put it here. 0 and 3, x is 0, y is 3. This is your first point. 1 and minus 1, x is 1, y is minus 1. This is your second point. 2 and minus 5 x is 2, y is minus 5. If you're in the exam, you need to, you cannot draw the line, okay? So this three points is your relation. Why you cannot draw a line? Because he only give you three numbers in the domain. If he give you a range, then only you can draw the line. So this is your relation. You have a relation S of domain 0, 1, and 2 that relates the independent variable x, and this is your equation. Which of the following statement is true? The order pair 0 and 2 is in S type. I will put 0 here. I will get minus 1. So no. If it is 0, it will be minus 1. 1 and minus 3. Put 1. So it will be... If I put 1, 1 times 2 is 2 minus 1, 1. So you have 1 and 1. Or if you put 1 here, it will be plus 2 minus 1. Sorry, minus 2 minus 1 it will be minus 3 so for the value of 1 you can either have 1 or you can have minus 3 1 and minus 3 yes it is one of the uh, points the range of s r is minus 1 1 and 3 no this is wrong without you even calculate why because you have here three numbers you have here plus and minus okay so the 0 will give you one value the 1 will give you two values because you have here plus and minus and the two will give you two values. So total you'll have five values in the range. So if you have three values in the domain, you will have five values in the range, not three. So this is wrong. Here you have one, two, three, four, five. Yes, so this can be right. So you will use all the numbers. You will put the zero, you'll get minus one. You'll put the one, you will get already we, we calculated, you'll get the one and the minus three. When you put the two, you will get the three and the minus five. So this is correct. This is the range of these set of numbers. S is not a function. Yes, S is not a function because for one value of X, you have two numbers. You have two Y. You have one and one, one and minus three. So the vertical test, it will not pass. So this is not a function. A relation is defined by the points below. Which point, if removed, this relation will be a function? Type. 
here I have the vertical test, you have E and C. So if you remove E or remove C, this will be a function. So here you can put C or E for this to be a function. The function G is given by this relation. What is the value of two? If you put two here, two to the power of two, it will be four times two is eight. So I have eight plus three times two is six. Eight plus six is equal to 14. The domain of this function is all the real number except what makes the denominator zero. And the numbers under the radical greater than or equal to zero. So it is all the real numbers except 4x plus 8 greater than or equal to zero. Because if it is less than zero, this will be undefined. And if it is zero, also it will be undefined. So it is all the numbers that is greater than zero. I cannot take equal to zero. It has to be only greater than zero. Because if this is zero, radical zero is zero. But if it is in the denominator, it will be also undefined. So all the real numbers greater than zero. There is no equal here. So put the eight. So four x is greater than minus eight. Divide by four x is greater than minus two. So all the real numbers x is greater than minus two. You cannot put equal here because you will have zero in the denominator, which is going to be also undefined. Again, you have a function in the denominator and he wants what is the what is your domain? So the domain is all the real numbers where the denominator will not be equal to zero. So x squared minus 2x minus 35 should not equal to zero. Let's simplify this. So here I have x, I have x, 35 is 7 times 5 minus 7 plus 5. So x should not equal to 7 and x should not equal to minus 5 because these two values will make your denominator 0. So x is not equal to minus 5 and not equal to 7. You have a function here and he wants the function of 2x plus 3. You will remove each x here in your original equation and you will substitute by 2x plus 3. So I have the first one 2x plus 3 all square minus 2, 2x plus 3, plus 5. Then simplify. The first one square, it will be 4x square. The second one square is plus 9. The middle sign, 2 times 2 is 4x times 3, 12x minus 2, 2, 4x minus 2 times 3 is 6 plus 5. Simplify, you have 4x square plus 12 minus 4 is plus 8x plus 9 minus 6 is 3 plus 5 is 8 plus 8 this is your value when you substitute this into this you have this function and he wants to know the domain Taban here the domain is all the set of all real numbers that, that doesn't make this denominator equal to 0 so it's x square plus 25 does not equal to 0 so if you take x squared to the other side, so x squared does not equal to minus 25. So tapan, the square, it will not be ever a negative. So any number you put here, it will always be positive. So it is all the set of all real, all real numbers, actually, all real numbers. So less than 5, equal to 5, greater than 5, all will work. Here, you should not get your denominator 0 or negative. So it's 15 minus 3x should be greater than zero i will not put equal here because if i put equal this will be zero and i cannot have zero in my denominator this will go to the other side so 15 greater than 3x divide by 3 so 5 greater than x so all numbers x great less than 5. x is less than 5 so this is correct this is wrong this is wrong here should not equal to zero only this is your only condition so x and x minus minus 25 is 5 times 5 so x should not equal to 5 is the only number that you should exclude from the de denominator so less than 5 greater than 5 equal to 5 is wrong 
you have a relation and he is giving you the domain he's giving you the function and which pair belongs to the set type i will just use the numbers here so three times minus four is minus 12 minus 12 minus five is minus so minus four and minus 17 if you put minus two minus two times three is minus six minus five is minus 11 zero and minus five two and one four is um, 12 minus five is seven so this is your relations you have zero and minus five here you have two and one here and you have four and minus 17 here the rest all is not in your numbers you have a relation and this is the value and you have a domain 0 4 and 6 طبعا here this is not a function because you have plus and minus so the range of the relation q contains how many values for the 0 it will contain one value only which is 3 so 0 and 3 for the 4 it will have two values one positive and one negative and for the 6 it will have two values so total you have 1 2 3 4 5 you have five values the q is not a function طبعا is not a function because you have one value of x two values of y one value of x two values of y you don't need to calculate if he doesn't need an exact number you just need to know that plus minus it will give you two answers when you put these numbers so in total you have five numbers in the range three numbers in the domain so this is not a function this graph he wants select all that apply طبعا here it's not a function because if you put a vertical line here you have two values so the relation is a function no the relation is not a function because there is a horizontal line that cuts its graph at more than one point no this is the horizontal is not the condition for it to be a function the horizontal is a condition to be a one-to-one -one function but to be a function you have to draw a vertical line and it cuts only in one point the relation is not a function because it's a vertical line it will cut the graph in more than one point yes the relation becomes a function if we remove the point three and one three and one yes if you remove this or you remove this it will be a function if you remove one and minus two one and minus two no minus one and three no also if you remove only this which is three and one or three and minus one it will be a function last question this function is defined for okay the range what is the value of minus 2 you'll just put minus 2 here so 3 minus 2 to the power of 2 is 4 3 times 4 is 12 minus 9 times minus 2 is plus 18 which is equal to 30 the function of 1 over 3 we'll just put here 1 over 3 so we'll have 3 times 1 over 3 all square is 1 over 9 minus 9 over 3 so this is 3 over 9 which is 1 over 3 minus 9 over 3 is uh, 3 1 over 3 minus 3 you will just unify the denominator so this will be 9 over 3 1 over 3 minus 9 over 3 is negative 8 over 3 so this is just substituting the number into your equation